O arrojado design finlandês nasceu na década de 30 com o estilo que é chamado por aqui de funkis, o funcionalismo escandinavo, um movimento que abraçou os ideais nórdicos da igualdade social e a ideia de que o design deve ser para todos os cidadãos, de todas as classes sociais. O design pulsa até nas ruas da capital finlandesa. Helsinki também já foi eleita a capital mundial do design. Um bairro inteiro é ocupado por ateliês e galerias de arte. A inspiração vem da natureza e da história desse país de 180 mil lagos, encravado entre o Ocidente e o Oriente, onde um refinado estilo funcional convive com o ideal democrático do design. In Finland and in Nordic countries and Scandinavia, the whole idea of the Scandinavian welfare society, uh, which in design is a key integral part of the built environment and our everyday lives, design is seen as a building block of creating a democratic and more um, coherent society for everybody, not just the elite class or the higher class, but creating a better living standard and better environment and more functional environment for everybody. Nas casas finlandesas, o design é parte do dia a dia. Entre as peças clássicas estão os sinuosos vasos Savoy, do designer e arquiteto Alvar Alto. E também os tradicionais vidros e porcelanas da Ítala, as tesouras e facas da Fiskars, os móveis infantis da Murami e os ambientes da Artec, fundada por Alvar Alto nos anos 30. Os icônicos tecidos estampados da Marimeco ganharam fama com os vestidos usados por Jaqueline Onassis, e continuam a marcar o estilo, as cerâmicas e as roupas de cama de gerações de finlandeses. Finnish design is for everybody. It's very inclusive and I actually have to say that I think inclusivity is is the most modern thing. I mean and and it is I think something very positive that we see happening in the world overall that um Exclusivity is actually not so aspirational anymore. No inclusivo estilo finlandês, o design deve ser bem feito e feito para durar. Finland was also quite poor after the war, so we have uh, this saying in the Finnish in Finnish that if you're poor, you can't afford anything else but good, good quality. And I think that that concept really, or that thought, really kind of captures. Uh, one of the reasons why we have such a strong functionalistic tradition uh, in Finland. Of course, it is uh, premium quality. Of course, then it has a reflection in the price. But for example, within our product range, you can find products of, of different price points so that people can uh, have it for their everyday. Foi nos anos do pós-guerra que o design finlandês alcançou projeção internacional. Um dos ícones da década de 60 foi o designer Erio Arnio, o criador da célebre ball chair. Arnio lembra que o design foi e continua sendo uma das principais alavancas do desenvolvimento socioeconômico da Finlândia. Design on problemia ratkaisua ja kyllä niitä probleemeja on kaikilla, kaikissa elintasoissa. Sekä köyhillä että... Jos trabalhadores da Finlândia também tem voz ativa no planejamento social e urbano. In Finland and in Scandinavia, it's been a concern that all part of society should have a voice also in for example how the workplaces are designed, for example how the cities are designed. Because of also the social democratic tradition, there has been an equality where many voices are not only considered, but public authorities, governments, ministries, corporations seek actively the opinions and the inputs of workers, consumers, public citizens, and so on. <laughs> design that came along to 
draw, try to develop methods and techniques that everyone would have a voice in decision making about, for example, how the factory would work, how the machines would be designed to be usable, to be uh, good for the health and not damaging to the workers. Participatory design tradition puts everyone around a table with an equal voice. The boss, the secretary, the workers, the users, everyone has an equal voice. It's not the one with the money, it's also the one that uses it. Very progressive, it's not the product-centered, it's not the profit-centered, it's the human-centered design. That has been the leading idea in Finnish design, always uh, functionality and, uh, and beauty and a decent price that, uh, that everybody could afford. The will to, to democracy very much in that everybody could afford beauty in their everyday life.